You know what? After I uploaded that last video, a thought occurred to me. This could be a golden ticket for the so-called foundational black Americans or so-called black Americans. This whole Jim Crow law in the segregation in Mississippi and the feeling, the way a lot of clear people are now starting to feel about the so-called black Americans, um, what the immigrants and the Africans feel about the so-called black Americans. This could be a golden opportunity for the foundational black Americans to be great again. Because remember, and you still hear a lot of black Americans say things like, we were kings and queens, we were great at one time, we had black Wall Street, and these are business owners is in the back of me. Those are business owners that were a part of black Wall Street. So this could be a golden opportunity for the so-called black Americans, the foundational black Americans, to now construct a much better black Wall Street. If black Americans put their dollars together, if these celebrities that had not sold out to the Democrat Party were to come together and start building another black Wall Street, keep other people out, just like they keep you out. So take advantage of segregation in certain states. This is your opportunity to prove that you don't need the white man. Since the white man is the enemy and it would be great if the politicians, the so-called black politicians would introduce a bill that would not require, that would exempt foundational black Americans from paying taxes. Why pay taxes to a system or into a system that don't support you? That you can't take advantage of all of the opportunities. I'm, I'm, I'm full aware that there's a lot of opportunities that, that's at our fingertips that we can take advantage of. But the so-called black Americans are not full citizens. And that's the reason why we find so much of this police shootings, you know, and, and how the foundational black Americans are being ignored and um, you have other groups that's, that's receiving reparations, but yet when the so-called black Americans speak on reparations, then it's a bad thing. Forget about it. We don't support that. We don't want our tax dollars to pay for that because we had nothing to do with slavery. So maybe this is a golden opportunity for foundational black Americans to now once again prove your greatness by first of all getting a hold of your kids gaining control of your children making sure that they go to school and they do well in school not just pass them through because they show up the class. If you show up the class, we'll make sure that you pass. So I'm not talking about that. But you force your child to sit down at the table and do their homework. Inspire your child to be great. And you have to live by example. The parents, adults, have to live by example. Start supporting black on black businesses. Stop fighting among each other. Stop killing each other. Start protecting your communities. If you clean up your communities and start doing better and leave other people out like they want to leave you out, then the respect will come. Not that you really want that respect. I know there's a lot of you out there want to be accepted and want that respect. But once you start becoming independent, take advantage of these jobs, start your own business, keep the money in your own communities.
And once, because I remember when Juneteenth, either locally here, blacks were in charge of Juneteenth. Now whites are in charge of Juneteenth. It seemed like everything that black Americans create or design, they end up selling it to the white people. The whites end up in control because blacks don't have uh, the, confident, the confidence enough to believe that they can make it great. They think the white people, if the white people were in charge, the white people can make it bigger. And just give you credit in the end. This is the person. But as time go on. Your name is forgotten. And the person that's going to take the credit. Are the white people. So instead of selling out. You sold out R&B. You sold out hip hop. You allow everybody in. You start inviting everybody in. To take advantage. To. Uh, to, to become prosperous but yet you're not accepted in their communities right so maybe this is a golden opportunity to prove that you are great because you talk about black wall street you talk about how great um your ancestors were and kings and queens and all that but now you're living as a peasant right your peasant status so Take advantage of this opportunity of segregation and prove that you can be great. Prove that you come from greatness. This is a golden opportunity. Black on black support. Instead of black on black violence and crime, black on black support. And when it comes to voting and going to the polls, don't vote Democrat. And don't vote Republican unless they have something tangible for you. Your vote counts. But yet you have to, your vote is only worth as worth as you, your vote is only, it's only as worth, I'm trying to put it in a way, it's what you make it, okay? What is it worth to you? What type of value does your vote have for you? Is it because your parents voted Democrat so you're going to continue just automatically give your votes without asking for nothing in return? And I'm not talking about put a statue up of George, George Floyd or put a sign with Martin Luther King or George Floyd's name on it. No, something tangible. You know, I'm not talking about like, oh, Putting the black woman on the back of a dollar bill. I ain't talking about that. You have to demand something for your votes. You just can't give them up. What do you get in return? If I vote for you. And I'm not going to go on empty promises. You have to make that a reality. Before you get my votes. From now on. You know. Cash up front. Before you get my vote. So. Blacks can be great again. You could take advantage of this segregation instead of crying and saying, Oh my God, what am I going to do? The white people can't help me no more. I'm doomed, Lord. The same thing it is with Africans. Those that come from the continent. They're fleeing Africa because their political leaders have sold out. They should not be living in poverty. They should have someone in leadership that's qualified to negotiate those natural resources. Kick China, Russia. I understand China and Russia have been supporting the continent, but it's only for your natural resources. Now, China got its port set up in Africa, got police station set up in Africa like they do in America right kick them off your land and require something much greater than just okay I'll give you a loan and at the same time I'm stripping the continent of natural resources Africans are too nice the government is too nice now I give them props for standing up against the gay movement right 
but you're too nice. You give in too much because the skin is lighter than yours. So Africans need to have someone in them tri those, those different countries in Africa that a lot of y'all like to brag about. Oh, we speak so many languages. We got 50 some odd countries and Africa is this and that and the other and you own nothing. Those leaders need to come together. Stop the tribal, the tribal division and come together. You put your head together, the African Union, if it's a real union, you guys should be able to work together and keep the enemies off your land. Don't allow your enemies to dictate your people. Don't allow your enemies to come over there and 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 erase your people because of population reduction and you allow that to take place while you're lacing your pockets I think if if, if the continent if those countries in Africa were to set up their system similar to the American system with the Congress the Senate and um, each one have so many years to be in position of authority or power Instead of just having one president that's there for a lifetime. Right? So, this is an opportunity for foundational black Americans as well as the Africans on the continent to be great. Prove that you can be great without outside influence. Put your dollars together and do something great. So, take advantage of this opportunity of segregation.